this individual was made an honorary admiral because he, she, shimp, whatever you want to refer to him as, showed up and, you know, it is what it is. All right. Now, to be an admiral in the Navy, you have to be a, a bionic, you know, dick-sucking, butt-fucking fool because that's all these higher level officers do as of at least what I've seen while I was in was uh, polish the knob so they can get to the next seat, punch their ticket, and move along. But now we have civilians being promoted to the rank of admiral, and it doesn't matter if it's honorary or not. It's still destroying the morale of our armed forces. That is not, that, that is not something you mess with, in my opinion. Absolutely. And this particular one, since we've already made the young Frankenstein jokes, looks like one of the ones that young Frankenstein would have gone, this one's not going to work. <laughs> makes the next one. Yes. <laughs> this creature is in charge of health decisions for the United States of America. Right, and now, it's now, part hang, of hang the on. dysphoria that we've been talking right, about. So, so hang on. All right. So, all right. So we have an individual. Yes. With a, in my opinion, a mental illness, a, living in a delusional world, making life and death decisions about your health yes. on a national level. Can anyone say this is this is a good idea? Because it's not in my book. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. Yeah, absolutely. God absolutely damn it! I'm getting just, pissed it's, off. It's ridiculous. I know. It's I. When I get stumbly speech, it's because I'm busy being very angry in the back of my head, and there's a dwarf in the back of my head smashing furniture. Yes. Yeah. I have evil pop is locked in a box. That's correct. So That's, I have evil furniture. dwarf. Um, this creature is absolutely emblematic of the path our country has taken. This is a deliberate insult. This is a deliberate slap in the face to america and, and putting these things in you any brought up a, a historic example of being humiliated wasn't it carthage turkey turkey yeah. when the turks conquered constantinople for years what they did to torture and humiliate the living adult generation of what was constantinople and then was istanbul was to take the young christian boys dress them in drag and use them as sex toys and clowns. And they did this for years. And this is because they had conquered the Christian kingdom of Constantinople, the, the uh, Roman empire. That was part of the Roman empire, the Eastern Roman empire. Yes, it was. Humiliation of the population has been used as a weapon for millennia yeah, forever. That's how you know that. And one of who sent that to us? Do you remember who sent that? To I us? do not. I do not. One of uh, one of our viewers sent us a thing from Reddit or one of the other boards that says the U.S. is already a conquered nation, and here's how you know because they're doing these humiliation rituals. And he's 110 percent correct, in my opinion. Yes, it's absolutely 110 percent correct. There, no civilized nation would have a thing like this in charge of anything except maybe the lunch trays in the asylum. Yep. I mean, th this is, this is insane. I, I just can't believe I've watched my government turn into such an insane rapture of insanity. Yeah. I, I, I literally, uh, wow. We grew up, we, you and I both grew up in that world where the United States is the last bastion of freedom. Yes, absolutely correct. The shining city on the hill. Yep, not anymore. What the United States, if the United States falls, I think it was Reagan. If the United States falls, the world is doomed. Well, we have a problem. Yes, we do. Get ready for doom. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, I don't like the word doom. Me doom, is a, doom is a, a bigger word than people may realize now on top of having lunatics dressing in women's clothing running portions of our government mm -hmm. um what comes next is hey guess who gets to pay for their gender reassignments yeah again they're they're, they're spending our tax money for you're literally not getting a return on this 
Because these individuals are non-deployable. Correct. All right. Now, I, I've always had a bone to pick with the U.S. military for this one instance. They have an entire division of lawyers. All right. Yeah. Say a guy comes in and wants to be a Green Beret. He does two years in the regiment, so he had to go through RIP, Ranger School, Airborne School, goes through selection. So you have all of that money already invested into him. Then you send him into the Q course. Then he has to go to the, the SEER school, language school. That's a, like a year and a half of time just for the Special Forces qualifications as of the current year. So now you have two years of training invested into this guy. And then he gets divorced, gets the, I'm not happy. And our division of lawyers are not going to help the, the military protect its investment and keep that guy in the service. Yeah. That's a huge waste of taxpayer money. They did that to me. I know. Basic training from basic training. We went to a language school that was 63 weeks long. It is one of the best language schools probably in the world where it was back then. Then we go to Seawiok, an electronic warfare warfare school in uh, Arizona. From Seawiok, we go to uh, another intelligence course at uh, San Angelo, Texas. And from there... They didn't send you to Huachuca? What's that? You didn't send you to Huachuca? That's later. Oh, okay. Hang Sorry. on. I'm not done yet. I'm nowhere uh, near done yet. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> then if you uh, went through the Seawiok and they decided you're going to go to tactical, that's you ask going to airborne school. Then after you're done with that, you get an overseas assignment. And when I got to Korea by 1996, they sent me to Yonsei University on wow. the government dime. Yeah. So now I'm going to a foreign university in that language. That's how much time is spent learning those languages. Correct. You could go to university in a foreign country. Yeah. And, and what happened to you was reprehensible. Yeah. Uh, so they spend, we sat down long before my, my divorce and all the debacle and everything. Uh, we sat down and calculated it out one day and it's like $2.1 million per 98 golf. That was the, the job that I did. Yep. Crypto linguist, $2.1 million on us. And, and literally you, you get a bad company commander, yep. uh, a bad first sergeant, sergeant major, battalion commander. You're out of the service. All have that money up in smoke. Mm-hmm. Yep. Meanwhile, they're letting transgenders in and yep. your tax dollars and your insurance money. When you pay into insurance, you don't see that money unless something happens to you. That money is gone. What they're doing is taking that money and using it on transgenders now. So you're literally paying out of your pocket as you pay your insurance. Mm -hmm. If you've got personal insurance, private insurance, you're paying for some transgender to have his penis inverted. Yes, that oh, oh. Uh, the, I know the, the oozing there. poop. The visual wound. there, <laughs> the oozing poop <laughs> wound is what Blake called it. Yeah. It was very, very detrimental to my thinking. Me, we read an article some time ago, uh, not during a show, but you and I came across the article where the hair follicles will get infected yes. and they will get a gangrenous wound yep. inside their inverted wound. And, well, first of all, the, I'm going to go throw up. They have to like, for the rest of their lives, they're going to have to stretch this wound out to keep it from healing because that's what your body wants to do is yes. heal it. Yeah. And, uh, holy God damn, that's just, it's just insane. Ah. Now, listen, I, I'm sorry. These people are so mentally twisted. I really am. And I hope they get the help. They can get back on the right track. But once you get your body mutilated, you're not coming back from that. Yeah. It's, it's a done deal. You know, and the reason this is happening is the forces of darkness have weaponized our compassion and mercy against us because that's why they call it gender affirming care. When I say you're paying for these things out of your insurance, we're not talking about a root canal even. No. We're not talking about a thousand dollar root canal or something like that. How about $92,000? Ren Vettens was promised a significant discount on the cost of her gender confirmation surgery. I'm so mad about this, I can't speak. If she paid in cash up front without using her health insurance, your money. Yet afterward, Vettens received an explanation of benefits saying that the hospital had billed her insurer nearly $92,000. 
And what year was that? Was that dollars? This particular one is 2018. Right, so it's about 160,000 now. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, and, and listen, again, you're not getting any value out of this person for this. They are uh, they are non-deployable. Literally, they stay in a seat behind a desk. You can get other people to do that job without having to spend 160,000 additional dollars yeah. to physically make them fit the role. That is that is looney tunes in my opinion. Yeah, it's it's insane. This, like I said, this comes out of your tax dollars. This comes out of your insurance money. If you're healthy and you pay for insurance and you've never, ever spent a nickel or taken a nickel from your insurance money, this is where your insurance money goes. Yep. So you should consider. And your tax dollars. Yes. You should consider that. Uh, It has been said, this is one of those things that has been said, that if everybody just stopped paying taxes, there would be nothing the federal government could do about it. Yeah. They would, it would drain the money so quickly that they wouldn't be able to react. Correct. Correct. Speaking of which, I already did my taxes. So. Did you? Yeah. That's fine. You got to play the game. That's fine. It's not like we don't make a lot of money here anyway, so it's yeah. not a big deal. That's okay. By the way, smash the like button right now yeah. if you haven't already. If you haven't smashed that like Please button, like you're button. fucking up by the numbers. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonculus.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.